everyone. Thank you all for joining. My name is Joe Lichtenberg. I'm Global Head of Product and Industry Marketing here at InterSystems. And today I'd like to talk to you about how organizations are using technology to help them see around corners, how they're enabling better insights and agility with the help of modern data management technology. So the world is moving faster than ever before. The world now demands that businesses are able to gain the real-time insights and agility in order to be competitive. Game stock stock price, for example, is fluctuating all over the place throughout the trading day. Thousands of fintechs are finding new ways to disrupt established businesses, and customers expect every interaction to be like trading on Robinhood or shopping on Amazon, personalized, gamified, and enjoyable. So if you think about where technology and specifically data management and data integration and analytics technology have been and the state of the art in the not too recent past, the available technology really struggled to meet these requirements. I think we've all seen lots of reference architectures that look like this, where there are sets of processes that take raw data from different siloed applications and put them through sets of ETL processes to stage the data and then populate an enterprise data warehouse, and then use the normalized data in the data warehouse to feed different data marts that all have different data and different views. They all serve different personas and different parts of the business. And this kind of an architecture, there's a fair amount of latency and complexity involved. It's usually not very good for serving real-time applications or for on-demand data exploration using live data or for answering unplanned questions to meet the real-time and near real-time requirements of today. Or even worse, I'm sure we've all seen these implementations as well, where you're populating individual data marts or applications directly from the source applications, which results in data duplication, inconsistent data in the different data marts, and different answers depending on which data mart is processing the queries. So businesses today demand better and in the moment insights and greater agility. Fortunately, the technology landscape has not stood still. There are many new technologies and architectural approaches that are enabling both fintechs as well as large established financial services organizations that already have large investments in technology to gain the insights and the speed and the flexibility that they need in order to innovate and compete in this new world. One of the more exciting uh, technologies and advancements are what's called modern data platforms. And they combine many of the capabilities that are needed for innovation in a single enterprise grade software platform that speeds time to value for fintechs that are building new services, as well as for established organizations that are looking to become more agile without having to rip and replace their existing infrastructure. These products provide SQL and NoSQL database management capabilities. They support transactional workloads, analytics on the incoming transactional data and event data in real time without moving the data to a different environment, embedded integration and analytics capabilities to handle data and application integration, data transformation, microservices, architectures, API management, business logic, and a range of embedded analytics capabilities, including BI, machine learning, natural language processing, and more, all without moving the data or requiring additional products. And they support all major programming environments, including Python, Java, .NET, Node.js, are uh, and more, which enables your application developers to be productive quickly with their existing skills, both for client side and server side development. So rather than having to implement and support lots of different products, you can develop and get to market faster and support a wide range of different types of scenarios with fewer products and services, far fewer moving parts, and much simpler architectures and easier maintenance. I want to talk a little bit about machine learning and advanced analytics. So machine learning and analytics um, have really become the key differentiators that are helping newer fintechs to disrupt 
and gain market share. And we see that built into some of the modern data platforms is the ability to build and tune machine learning models right from inside the data platform, often without requiring teams of data science talent. There's a relatively new technology, it's called AutoML or integrated ML, where you can just select a target variable or column from the historical data. Let's say it's whether or not the credit card transaction was fraudulent or whether a customer withdrew a large percentage of their total assets from the account. And it will do all the heavy lifting, including choosing the best machine learning model that will return the most accurate prediction, determining which features are most relevant to including the model, selecting the proper model parameters, and so on and so on. The other benefit to having AutoML integrated right into the data platform is that you can embed these machine learning models right within real-time workflows and processes, for example, to determine whether or not a transaction is fraudulent before the transaction at the point of sale gets approved. So I'd like to take you through an example from one of our larger fintech customers. They're a publicly traded fintech software company with billions in revenue, and they provide many different software applications in many different areas of financial services. So there's one uh, use case that I wanna take you through is for what they call their next generation wealth management application. And they saw the opportunity for a new wealth management application that runs more simulations using more data in less time, ultimately to deliver better recommendations and higher alpha for their clients. And so some of the requirements you see on the screen needed to handle more than 22 million client accounts, covering more than 42 million positions. They are holding seven years of data uh, for analysis and uh, historical information, uh, no greater than uh, one second response time, on average much lower, near zero RPO and RTO, 24-7 availability, uh, the ability to scale to 5x on demand, we know that uh, markets spike, volatility spikes, trading volume spikes. So they wanted to make sure it could handle 5x the normal volume without any problems. And so some of the results in using a next generation modern data platform is not only were they able to meet all of these uh, critical requirements, they replace multiple point solutions with one single software product, which resulted in all sorts of benefits, including faster development, faster time to market, easier maintenance, a much simpler architecture, and lower total cost of ownership. In addition to meeting uh, all of those requirements, they found that they had a nine times improvement in performance for uh, processing uh, and portfolio simulations and ingesting data uh, on three times fewer hardware resources that were required. The other exciting uh, data management uh, uh, advancement that I wanted to talk to you about is a new architectural approach that's being called an enterprise data fabric. And it's being used uh, both by established organizations and fintechs. So for established organizations that have lots of production legacy applications and silos already in place, it holds the promise of finally providing the business with this one single source of accurate and consistent data, both real-time data and non-real-time data. And it connects directly to sources inside and outside the organization and it services a wide range of consumers, including providing the business with the information that it needs to understand what's happening across the business in real time so they can make better decisions in the moment. And it gives them the ability to drill into live data on demand instead of working with static dashboards with data that may be too old to be trusted. It also makes it faster and easier to build new services for a wide range of clients and consumers and provides developers with the data they need to streamline processes and innovate to help them develop net new applications faster, increasing agility. And for fintechs that are providing services that need to integrate with their clients' existing infrastructures, for example, 
for risk applications or reg tech or wealth management and other kinds of applications. It lets the fintechs connect their applications to a wide range of data and applications that are running in their customer's environment and access the data from all of these different sources on demand in real time as it's needed. So it's very exciting. One, one key attribute of an enterprise data fabric is that it's dynamic. So unlike a data lake or a data warehouse or traditional integration methods, it allows you to directly access and utilize the data from source systems on demand without duplicating the data and without creating yet another copy of the data. So a little bit more granular view, it's still a high level view, an architecture view of what's involved in the data fabric, uh, but there's a lot of uh, moving parts here. So there's data connectivity to be able to connect to any existing data sources, there's data ingestion. So you need to support a variety of different mechanisms for different sources like flat files, applications and so forth and different protocols both for batch data feeds and real-time data, for example, over Kafka or, or over MQTT, data transformation to make the data from different systems in different formats consistent and usable, data pipelining. Ideally, you wanna have all the analytics capabilities embedded within the fabric so that it's operating directly on the data to give you the highest performance. So things like analytics SQL and business intelligence and business rules and machine learning and natural language processing uh, as well as business user self-service and data exploration capabilities so that you don't need to move the data to a different environment, which causes complexity as well as latency. There's a consistent semantic layer so that you can provide a consistent representation across all of this different data that provides a unified consolidated view of data to the business users and to applications that are accessing the data across the organization. The data catalog and finally consistent security and governance layer that controls who can access the data, what's the lineage, where did the data come from, how old is it, what's been done to it since it left the source system and so on. Okay, so there are many, many different applications that benefit from the implementation of modern data platforms and enterprise data fabrics. Um, and so here you have a, a sense of just some of the actual uh, implementations that we're seeing from our customers. Uh, and we're seeing this not only in financial services, but these technologies are applicable in pretty much every industry. Uh, and since I only have 15 minutes for this presentation, uh, I uh, can't go into any of these in too much detail, although I would love to, but if any of this looks interesting, uh, to any of you, I'd be more than happy to talk to you in detail about this after the presentation. So what do fintechs care about? So one for sure is easier development, faster time to value, easier maintenance. So if you can reduce the number of services and technologies that you need to implement and configure and code and maintain, uh, it can get you to, to uh, deployment and to value faster. For sure, it's all about competitive differentiation and first mover advantage. And a key to that is not only speed to market, but the ability to work with advanced analytics and machine learning and AI. Headroom, DR and HA, elastic scalability, and mission critical security and reliability. And here's an area where established organizations uh, in large part have really figured this out and they have bulletproof technology that's highly reliable and scalable. Uh, and, uh, and very high levels of security. Uh, so for fintechs, that's something that you can't ignore, uh, especially as your services scale uh, and you have uh, rapid adoption of, of more users. And so a, a prudent choice of technology <clears throat> is critical. You wanna make sure that you can integrate easily with your customer's infrastructure, and that's where a data fabric architectural pattern can help and for sure, a low total cost, cost of ownership and flexible deployment options. Uh, so just uh, quickly in summary, a little bit about InterSystems. InterSystems is a data management software company. We've been powering some of the world's largest applications for decades. Trading platforms that are built on our software are handling as much as 15% of the worldwide stock trades every day. Our software is in use uh, in production applications at most of the top global banks. In a recent 
Gartner Magic Quadrant. Gartner found that all of our reference customers said that they would recommend it to others. That's a 100 net promoter score. We were awarded a number of uh, Gartner awards. And our software is used in other industries as well, where there's lots of data, the need for real-time information and real-time processes with very high security requirements. As an example, uh, in uh, the healthcare industry, our software is used to manage more than 1 billion electronic health records around the world. That's about one seventh of the total worldwide population. Our flagship software product is the InterSystems Iris Data Platform, and it provides many of the required capabilities for implementing enterprise data fabrics, and it includes a wide range of database management, integration, analytics capabilities, all built from the ground up in a single product uh, on a single architecture. So the net benefit is that it can make it faster and less complex to implement and maintain these kinds of applications since it reduces the number of different products and services that are required. Uh, and all of our customers are looking to simplify their architectures, reduce the amount of implementation and maintenance involved, lower their total cost of ownership and speed time to value. So thank you very much. If you'd like to learn more, please visit www.intersystems.com where you can read and watch more detailed information or feel free to reach out to me uh, directly by email or on LinkedIn. Uh, thank you all very much for your attention.